today. vehicle security we're gonna get the ghost installed I've got Bonnie open and the s55 engine is on display it's always a pleasure seeing that straight six um, we're not gonna really record any of the installation for obviously security purposes I don't want people to know where my ghost uh, immobilizer has been securely fitted uh, kind of defeats the object of actually having it fitted anyway so what I'll do is I'll time-lapse some of this stuff I'll throw in a bit of b-roll but then towards the end of the read what I'll do is I'll show you guys who are new to this kind of ghost installation or you know the, the ghost immobilizer um, security device I'll go through how it works um, and hopefully it'll give you some kind of indication to get this fitted to your car So let me just tell you a little bit about Advanced Vehicle Security. Imran, who runs the show here, he's been operating since 2009. Uh, he's been installing all these Ghost Immobilizers since they first came out on the scene. What I really like about this place is that look how spacious it is and look how clean it is as well. You know, that for me is always uh, sort of confidence feeling as well. Like I don't want to take my car to a place which, you know, has a lot of crap around and whatnot. So this place is absolutely stunning, it's so clean. You know, even the floor and everything. So just gives you a lot of confidence that you're bringing your car down to a reputable place as well and knowing that Imran's been installing all of these ghost immobilizers and pretty much any security device whether it's Pandora or whatnot and Imran is an authorized installer for ghost so what more sort of confidence do you need from that point? I really like the look of this Ford Transit. It reminds me of the A-Team one from the 80s. 
But the installation is now nearing completion. If you guys are interested in getting your car secured, then definitely check out Advanced Vehicle Security. I'll leave all of the details in the description of this vid below. And also, don't forget to check them out on the Facebook pages as well as the Instagram. They've covered quite a lot of cars out there, so you might be interested in seeing what type of cars that they do. Look again, all of those links will be in the description below. So I've just had the Ghost installed to the car. Um, I couldn't really do a handover vid at Advanced Vehicle Security because of COVID-19 and we were maintaining our social distancing. So what I'm going to do now is give you an overview of how this Ghost Immobilizer works. So essentially the way it works is that you've got to enter in your own personal code through the steering wheel buttons and only then the car is going to fire up. So if for example, I don't know, you are parked up and you know your car switched off and someone comes and pulls you out of the car, and they've got the key it doesn't matter if they've got the key because they still have to put in a code through your steering wheel for the car to start so what you'd normally do is once you're in the car is you would normally put your foot on the brake and obviously hit the start button now in this instance what's going to happen is my foot is on the brake I'm about to hit the start button and nothing let's try that again nothing so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and put in my code. You can see those indicators flash there. That means that the code has been accepted. And now the car has started. So it's as simple as that. You jump into the car, you put in your code. Your code can be anything between four sequences to 20 sequences in terms of the buttons. And your car will fire up. Without that code, your car is not going to fire up. Um, so no one can really just drive your car away without you know putting in that code I think this should be the first thing that you do to your car before modifying your car in any other way So it's pretty simple how the ghost immobilizer works Like I say it is pretty much an important modification to do to your car for its own kind of security purposes uh, But when your car goes in for a service and what have you you can put the car into a valet mode or a maintenance mode So they can actually like work on your car and drive it around you know within their premises if the car goes over 30 miles an hour the car will then start a timer of 15 minutes which basically means if after they keep driving the car for 15 minutes they will have to then enter the code to be able to you know keep driving it again it kind of protects the car because generally if your car gets pinched from a dealership for instance then it's going to go over 30 miles an hour and what's going to happen is after th after 15 minutes the car will ask for a code otherwise it will I assume it would shut down there's a hope that you know none of us get into that situation anyway it is going to affect your insurance in a positive way for a change because these ghost 2 immobilizers they are insurance approved as well so uh, I'm yet to you know get in touch with my insurance company and find out how much my insurance premiums has changed but I will let you guys know I mean you can follow me on Instagram and I will probably put a comment on there in the next few days but I really think that it's a worthy upgrade to put onto your car because car crime and cars any decent car these days is getting pulled left right and center so you know if you want to protect your asset in some way I think you should just go ahead and put one of these onto pretty much any car um, I've already got this on my G20 as well so that's pretty good um, so now I've got it on there so both of my cars are secure so hopefully guys you have found this video useful and informative definitely check out Imran go pay him a visit advanced vehicle security follow them on Instagram as well I'll leave all of their details in the link below in this vid and hopefully guys I'll see you on the next one take care bye